Welcome to the Ear for Fear podcast, the horror movie podcast that boils and ghouls and dead alike are screaming for. Don't be afraid to listen as Rick and the Creeps bore their way into your brains, slither down onto your arteries, into your still beating hearts. Hi, welcome to the Ear for Fear podcast. This is the podcast that talks about scary movies or movies trying to be scary. Uh, I'm Rick, joined by Darren. What's up? What's up, dude? Uh, you and I are talking about 2008's Splinter. Before you and I jump into this thing, let's do a little quick uh, rundown. Uh, trapped in an isolated gas station by a parasite that transforms its still living victims into deadly hosts, a young couple and an escaped convict must find a way to work together, to survive. And I'm going to go ahead and say it right now, since you always seem to forget until we get about halfway through and (laughs) then you say it, uh, there's going to be spoilers. All right, man. So, uh, Splinter, um, I recommended this cause I knew you hadn't seen it. Yeah. Um, all right. Right off the bat. I haven't even asked you. I know you watched it the other yep. day. I haven't yep. even asked you. I'm like, well, let's just save it for the episode. So initial thoughts. What Fucking did you think? hated it. No, <laughs> no, you did. No, up. not at all. No, <laughs> you know, it's a decent movie. Yeah. It's, I don't think it does anything earth shattering. I, uh, it's, it's a premise that I've seen before, you know, the whole yeah. idea of some sort of parasitic thing that like invades a person and then turns them into nasty, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was, it, it was, I think I just like, I, I came away from it kind of just going, yeah, all right. I, mean, I didn't hate the movie. I didn't love the movie. I, 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 I will say that it, generally wasn't memorable like i don't see myself coming back to this movie or or say like a year from now looking back on it with like fond memories of my time with splinter you know like (laughs) do you you ever do that with some of the movies i do do you for sure i do yeah absolutely yeah. there are some not all journal and you go on this day one year ago i watched splinter <laughs> how i loved splinter yeah. and it's no, I'm yeah, just yeah. I'm just... I, I keep it on my hope chest <laughs> <laughs> no no i don't, just I don't do that you. but uh but but you know what i mean though i do know what, what i'm getting mean. at is it's like there's movies that a year two years whatever later even if you've not watched it again you could you look back on it and go yeah i remember that movie that movie was awesome or that movie was really yeah. cool or that you know there's something about it that that yeah. keeps it i know what you're talking for about you. yeah this movie did not tick those boxes for me it was decent yeah it's, uh, it's a pretty good movie like it's not so it's funny i i recommended it and I recommended it because I, rem- I, I'd come across it and I'm like, Hey, we should do Splinter. I know, I knew you had never seen it. And, and, and I'm like, okay. And I remember liking it. Yeah. And then, so I watched it again for the episode and I still liked it, but I didn't like it as much as I thought I'd liked it. Right. Like it was exactly how you just explained it. Mm-hmm. It's not a super memorable, like I remember the plot of it. I know it's like in, in a gas station, it's very isolated, which a lot of these horror movies do. Yeah. Um, but it was, and, 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 and it was, it was fun and there was some cool practical effects, but it is kind of forgettable movie. It kind of is. There's yeah. no, I mean, even the scene, you know, even the scenes of, I don't know, the, the parasitic creature, you know, has, which has invaded whichever person. Yeah. Even those scenes just are fairly forgettable. They're not, I would say there's probably only one memorable scene that I, and it, and it really kind of just for me anyways, sort of hit or it sort of like tickled that, that gnarly uh, part yeah. of my brain mm-hmm. when, uh, when the parasite thing like broke his arm. 
Oh, yeah. So really quick, you know, the whole idea of this thing is is it gets inside you and then it seems to like contort your limbs. Yeah. It breaks them. It se- like essentially it, starts to take over, right? Yeah. And then and so by doing that, it kind of I don't know. It, it does it get comfortable? Does it push stuff out? Something. It like <laughs> like like their their fingers are like get, yeah. getting broken, broken and, and, and like yeah. out of joint, mm-hmm. you know, and and then that happened with uh what is that actor's uh, name? He's was in Boardwalk Empire. That's the only Oh, the, the convict? The convict guy. Um that's Dennis. Den- well, I think it is the actor's name, but his but his character's name is Dennis. Okay, yeah, I don't know what the actor's name is. He I know who you talk about. Yeah, he was Enoch's uh, brother. He was uh, in Boardwalk Empire. On Boardwalk Empire. Yeah. God damn, I gotta watch Boardwalk you Empire. Really do. I know Stop. that show is so good. There are so many damn shows I gotta <clears throat> watch, man. Uh, I gotta get back on Sopranos. So, um, so okay, so really quick, you know, we got okay, so we've got PhD guy. Uh, that's Seth. Yeah, who I and, wanted to and his, beat most of the movie. <laughs> he, well, yeah. I wanted to rip his man card away. Um. Well, yeah, but he is he is a quintessential PhD nerd. He's yeah. very book smart, but just he is. He you is. know, he's yeah. got the nerdiness to him a little bit. Yeah, um, he can't drive a stick. Can't folks. drive a stick. Uh, he's he a, you can't know, change a tire. Can't change a tire. <laughs> his girlfriend is doing all of that stuff. Doesn't she, want she, to go camping. Do you think he broke that tent on purpose? <laughs> <laughs> it's possible. I don't know. Right? Yeah. But, you know, and then, you know, a I don't Polly's know. Polly's the girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. Who is like, just, I'm sorry, but just entirely way too hot for that guy. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I don't know. The, Out of his league. The, it, it, it didn't make sense why they'd be together. But uh, whatever. But it's okay. You know, it's I mean, sort, you know, yeah, look, yeah. kindred spirits. You know, I, sure. Fall sure. in love, fall in love, whatever. Yeah. And then Lacey is the the meth, or I don't know, the the she's the girlfriend of Dennis who looks like she's going up through withdrawals of drugs. So, the, right. Okay. So that was what I was going to get at. It's like, what is the deal with that girl? <laughs> she, withdrawals. She withdrawals, withdrawals right? Yeah. She's obviously a like a drug addict or something. Yes, she is. They did they really explain it? Is he like an ex-convict who just escaped from prison? Okay, so like, this is what I had to really pay attention to his explanation. So I think he got into uh he, yes, he he used to um he was in prison. He used to uh steal like uh big rigs or something like that. Yeah. During one of the one of the one of the thefts or the rob whatever you call it. He shot someone. Okay. He ended up in prison. the The person he shot ended up in like a wheelchair, wheelchair, something like that. Him and his wife, they couldn't afford, went bankrupt. I think he ended up dying or committing suicide. So once Dennis got out of prison and he knew of this, he felt bad. So he had told Lacey they were going to go to Mexico. No, that wasn't the, the plan. The plan was to go to the small little town where he knew the wife or the widow mm-hmm. of this guy that he had shot lived. And his his plan was to give her any money that he had to help her out. See, so there was wh- some, <clears throat> some good in this guy. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. What part of this damn movie did they flesh that out? So do you remember that? So they I were in the, not. they were in the, so the freezer part. Remember when they when they go into the freezer to get away from the oh, the, the so hand? So is it then when yeah that was occurring? Yeah, was it when his arm was breaking and they were cutting off his so, damn arm? So they cut the arm off. Which okay, was see gnarly. that I think that eclipsed any sort of dialogue. Yeah. yeah. Dude. Like, so after yeah, so they were having a drink after they they cut the arm off and and broke it and it was gone and he makes like a joke about hey you're damn good at cutting off arms okay. you know and he goes the, he, he made a joke he's like you may not be able to like change a tire record, or drive a stick but yeah, you can right. you can right right yeah. got it for the record yeah. th- there is no way that guy is just sitting there having I, a conversation exactly. like that uh, he after. bleeds out or something right i mean the shock alone would kill him or what dude probably would have a heart attack just yeah. the shock alone now, now we could, and I like to do this, but <laughs> because you know how I am, I, I I nitpick stuff. We could argue that this parasite maybe somehow when it's in you, I don't know. I mean, but the idea was that once it cut out the arm, it wasn't in him anymore. So okay, it, that goes out the window. Never mind. No, it does totally. No, Dude, what I'm no saying he is would bleed the sheer, out. the sheer trauma of yes. this. That guy would be in such excruciating pain. He yeah. wouldn't be having a conversation where he's explaining. 
about some guy that he shot yeah. with a big big rig stealing and then yeah. and now he's on his way. I know. I None know. of that would have occurred at all. I mean, I found that to be very non-believable. True. It, it is. It but is. But whatever. Spend, it is. Whatever. Suspend belief. Suspend belief. That's going to be, we need to get a shirt that says that. Suspend belief. Seriously, right? We need to get that. Yeah. Let me write that down. Yeah, Suspend seriously. belief. <laughs> need to. We need to. <laughs> I'm actually More writing down. More times than not. I mean, you know. We that, say it in just about every, every, uh episode we do I mean, it's hard though because some of these scenes just really do stretch the the limits of well i mean we're also talking about a parasite that gets into you through a again so okay do you think that this because there was a quick sign on the side of the road it said like no trespassing experimental so this was just an experiment that maybe got out i didn't see that sign. yeah it was quick Okay. Like they barely like when they were le- either it was either when they were going to the campsite or when they were leaving the campsite, there was a sign on the on the side of the road. I think it was in yellow and it said something about like no trespassing or or I don't something experimental zone or something, something hmm. dorky like that. Yeah. And so I took it as there's a place nearby that does experiments. And this was an okay. experiment that got out. Sure. They don't tell you this no, at all. Not at all. So no. when it when it came to the gas station where the guy was, the worker, I don't know what you call, I forget his name, but I don't even know if we know his name. Yeah, but he was a gas station attendant. attendant and he gets attacked. And But they and, don't show that. He's just um, in, they show a little bit of it, like little flashes of him being attacked. They do. Yeah. Okay, but they mostly just show him the the meth girl. No, is, well, that's later on. I'm talking about the attendant. But yeah, no, at the very beginning when we see this, so he's sitting on his chair, right? And getting ready for the day or whatever it is. And he's got his hat on and I thought he was either eating or drinking something. He hears a noise behind him. And then that's when the thing comes up and attacks him. And then later on, when they get to the gas station, we see him in the, in, in the stall, in the, in the bathroom, in the bathroom. In the yeah. bathroom. Yeah. yeah. So, so he gets attacked by this thing. And my guess is, is it was an, it was, it attached itself to an animal. And the animal attacked him, and now it's in him. Right. And then it just slowly starts, I, I don't know, working its way into you, and and you're still there. So, Well, yeah, because wasn't it like originally, it looked like a some kind of badger or something. Something, like, some animal, yeah, something. Yeah, I don't know what the hell it was. It had attacked the guy. Yeah, something. And then he made his way to the gas station? No, no, he, he was already at the gas station. He was the attendant. So he's the one that first, first oh. gets attacked. And then remember when, uh, Dennis and I guess Lacey's, I didn't, make the, I didn't make the connection that he was already at the gas station. I yeah, thought he, he was, was the just worker. a person that was in the woods. No, he was, no, the first attack was the guy who works at the gas station. Okay. Then we get the, the Dennis and Lacey, their car, their truck breaks down. Right. They basically, I don't know, kidnap, um, Polly and Seth. Yeah. And then they, um, when they run over that thing in the road, right? And it, you know, it punctures it the punctures tire. the car, yeah. and it punctures the, um, uh, the whatever underneath the car, and it looks like it's leaking out oh, coolant. Yeah. 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 So then it overheats. Yeah. It overheats right where the gas station is. So then that's right. where they go into the gas station. Um, they go. Uh, I think Seth is pumping gas. Dennis and Polly are going in to get whatever they're getting. And then Lacey goes to, yeah. goes to the bathroom. This is where she's going to get high. Well, you know, it's the typical, uh, it's the typical setups that are required. I'm, I'm referring to like the various characters like, okay, so you're dealing with like a parasite thing, right? Yeah. So in order to fight this thing, you have to figure out from a biological <laughs> yeah, point of view. Totally how to kill this thing. What are its vulnerabilities? Well, the only way that you are going to realistically be able to explain that is you have to have a character. That's Dude, well, there's, that is, that is there's finishing <laughs> yeah. their doctorate in biology of I all know, things. I know. You right. Know? I know. Yeah. And so, you know, he figures out like through some deductive reasoning, some mm-hmm. PhD reasoning. Oh that, yeah. That yeah. like, um, what was it that like, it 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 it, 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 it attracts to heat. Yeah. So essentially, it 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 like hunts or whatever it it's do. I guess it's to, I guess it's to uh like a like a virus. Essentially, it's just to replicate itself. Yeah. 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 I think he referred to it as like a mold, right? Like yeah. Like, but I mean, didn't Predator? Didn't that how it how it how it hunted you was via heat? 
Yeah. I mean, it did, didn't it? It did. Like, because when it, when Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, was- it didn't have to, though. They made it a point to, to show well, that he had numerous different ways of seeing. And, sure. You know. But in the initial Predator, I mean, it's not- t- Yeah. It, it was like he was covered in mud, right? And the mud- like it, so it obscured it, his yeah, body, it, yeah, it obscured the heat because that's their main way. Yeah, of, yeah, of, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, we, obviously, we're two different things. Like I, we we're only given the uh, you know that that this mold thing um, yeah. uh, is attracted to heat. So. It, exactly, and he, yeah, he he comes up with that later on in the movie. Because yeah, he's like, well, why did it? He was looking like he popped in the video, the 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 footage from the the gas station of mm-hmm. like you know, and he's like, huh, I was I wondered why it didn't come for me. It went straight for the vehicle. Yeah, well, it was because the vehicle was hot. Yeah, you know. And so, what I wanted more with this film, again, like I said, I I did like it. I was I was entertained, but like you mentioned earlier, it's it's kind of forgettable. I wanted more. Pra- I wanted more effects. Like, I felt like they really didn't concentrate a lot on this, this parasite or the contortedness of like, like there's the, there's the, I like the scene in the bathroom where the attendant is basically getting taken over and he's like, you know, kill me, you know? And then he, then he's running out of the bathroom and then he goes to the car and, and then Lacey gets it and, and then she becomes it. And, and I, I, I like the idea of a, of a splinter, like almost like critters, right? Remember when the critters, yeah. when they, you know, they, they, they'd hit you with one of those little things. And mm-hmm. so I like this idea of this attaching, but I felt like there wasn't enough of it. It was, I felt a little bored, bored by it. Like I wanted to see more of it. They would do these really quick they would pan to it really fast, but it was so fa- it was so quick. I couldn't really see it. Uh, you know, films, not just horror movies, but films, even action films, um, superhero films. Tend, that's what they tend to do anymore with when they when they film a action sequence. It tends to it tends to be very herky jerky. It's yeah. like it's like they I think it's I think it's the um, I think it's the method. OK. There was a, and I don't remember what movie it was, but it was like, it was like a martial art movie. And there was like one particular scene that is like a, it might, uh, it's like a, it's like a 10 minute fight scene or something. Mm -hmm. And it's, and it's completely uncut. It's, it's just one long choreographed like scene that is, and, and it's really awesome. Because it doesn't rely on that that new way of showing the sort of footage where it's essentially just a bunch of cut and sped mm-hmm. up scenes to, yeah. to make that sort of action. Yeah. And that's what you're describing. And that's what, what a lot of what they did. And I don't think they did a good job even with it. I don't think they, they did either. I I always and I don't know a lot about filmmaking and and someone out there could probably listen to this and say, well, they did it because of this. Now. My opinion is, is they may have, they may have done it to almost trick you, right? Like, okay, if you're working on a low budget, small budget, okay, well, what can I do? What kind of tricks can I do Yeah. so that I'm not focusing so much on the practical effects? Yeah. I believe, and I talked about this in Dog Soldiers, I thought the, I thought the, the werewolves looked phenomenal, reminiscent of the howling, but they didn't. They didn't show you a lot of them a lot of the time. And I felt what I felt like, well, was it because they just didn't have the money to to do all these effects and to give it to you all the time? And so what they do is they give you little bits and pieces of it. Right. And do you think almost to obscure a bad effect? Yes, exactly. I mean, this was filmed. This movie, I think, was filmed in 20 days. So you have 20 days to do this, right? Yeah. Speaking of bad effects. (laughs) What? (laughs) What? I hated the 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 hand. Yes, it it was. Dude, that was the stupidest freaking thing I've ever seen. I I agree with you. Like I forgot about the hand effect. It reminded me of the Adams family of like a long time ago. Like it was not good. Dude, remember, I thought the Evil hand- Dead did a better job. Yeah, yeah, with that, it did. It wasn't. It wasn't good, and it looked. It looked. It did look bad. And what's funny is when I was watching, I'm like, Darren's going to say the hand looks stupid. Oh my God. Yeah, it's freaking ridiculous. I mean, it was like low hanging fruit. It can't help it. Yeah, it didn't look good. It didn't even, 
Like I could get on board with a hand effect, but it was all funky and weird. And it just, it didn't work for me at all. It running around and I, it, it was comical it, in a moment it was. where it was not supposed to be. Comical. So that's the thing. It's like, if you're supposed to be campy, like straight up campy, yes, it's okay. They're fine. It's okay. As long as you have, as long as you've established yep. that that's what the audience is in for. Yep. But that is very much no. not what the vibe they were going for. On exactly. So then it just yeah. came across it as did. stupid. It did. I agreed with you. Yeah. I did like, I did like when the, um, the cop or the sheriff or whatever came and was, oh, yeah. and the, the, the yeah. woman and she was, and, and the thing came down to grab her and literally ripped her in half. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I did like that. And then it like, took her to the top of the of the gas station the mm-hmm. roof and like they like merged to what was whatever left of i guess it might have been lacy or yeah, whatever and yeah. it just became it almost just became like intertwined with different of yeah parts yeah. yeah and 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 this was where they could have done a little more practical effects like the thing or something and and i know most people can't do those effects like the thing but but I'm like, give us a little more of the cool practical stuff instead of these quick shots like we were talking about. Yeah. I just, yeah. I wanted to see more of this creature Yeah, and we didn't get a lot of it. Like even throughout the whole movie, we didn't get much of it. Right. Like I felt like, like when, when Seth, you know, when Seth comes to the realization that, okay, I, if I get my body temperature down to whatever it was, it I was could, below, it was like 93 degrees 93 or something. Like or something. Yeah. Below that, 93.7. It, so I'm going to sound like a complete idiot. And so I'm going to defer to you on this. What is the normal body temperature supposed to be? Like 98.5, 98. Like. Okay. So, okay. So to get it to five degrees less, is that a substantial like jump? Because he was acting like he was going to die. Yeah. It is. Yeah. So dude, that's it why, actually that's is. why so I'm, now, yeah. Now there's a thing that, uh, so that was very accurate. I, it was? I, I found okay. there's a, yeah, a thing that happens when you approach hypothermia, dude, okay. your, your muscles uh, freeze up, they tense up. You, you, you can't, you, it's involuntary. You almost, you're shivering. So shivering is the body's way of generating heat. Okay. So that's why when, yeah. when you're cold and your body starts to involuntarily shiver, uh. it's trying to generate heat. Uh, to heat to keep the inner organs okay. you know warm and you know so what i didn't know is it will all, it will also sorry it will also yeah. take um like that's why your extremities end up really cold because uh, all of what heat you do have are 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 making it their way to your brain oh, your heart your, okay. your your vital organs See, and I knew you would know this and, and I was like, well, I know he's probably approaching hyperthermia, but I don't know enough about the number. Yeah. Like, like was the number in the, uh, the low nineties? Oh, yeah. Do you know the body is so susceptible to small degrees? I mean, that's why, um, <sighs> that's why when you have a low grade fever, just, just having a fever of, of 99.8. It's true. Is enough for you to feel. You're right. You're right. I never, I mean, that's I, only yeah. about, that's only a half a degree or maybe all like maybe a degree. I'm sorry, a degree. Yeah. Uh, uh, higher than your normal body temperature. And that's enough. And that is so, enough okay. to feel. So going from four to five degrees bef- b- colder, b- colder. I, yo, okay. You're going to feel it. See, bro. I didn't know. Yeah. I, and that's why I was like, okay, I'm going to bring this up because I know you would know. No, yeah, no. It, so it, that it, is that accurate. That scene was very accurate. Okay. And your, your extremities are going to uh. be numb from it. Uh, yeah, you and, know what and I mean? he was having a hard time moving, he was, walking, and, yeah. and doing anything. Yep. And so, okay. That was believable to me. That was believable. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. If not irritating, because you're just like, get to the car. <laughs> get to the car, yeah. and you don't have the keys, and, you know, and the thing jumps on the car, right? And it's, you know, I did thought it was, I was smart to throw the, the fireworks out to create a heat source. I mean, I'm like, but you know, those, those don't last long. It's like the, this thing is going to get smart Especially to it. Especially fireworks these days. <laughs> All right. It's like two <laughs> seconds. It's like, I spent 50 bucks for this thing and it lasted 10 seconds. Yeah. Remember those ground bloom flowers that we used to have back in the day? Yeah, those were cool. Well, now they suck. Oh, dude, those things were awesome. They were, those things would yeah. spin around for like five minutes, man. You could throw them in the pool. I don't know. You probably still I did. can throw them in the pool. I used to used to throw them in the water just to watch them go boop, 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 and then the yeah. color. And now they last like five seconds. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, well, cool. I don't know. But they charge you like, you know, 10 yeah, times as much do. as they used to. <laughs> oh, that'll be $20. Yeah. You mean for like <laughs> 50 of them? No, no, no. For the one. <laughs> the one. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> it is absurd whatever what they charge for that it stuff is. these days. Yeah. I bought some for Andrea and um I think I spent 80 bucks for like three items. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm like 80 bucks. Yeah. Dude. And then and then I try to think in my cuz most of the time they sponsor like a, 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 a I don't know, some sort of youth a thing and i'm like okay well it's going to a good cause that's how i that's how i can you know in my head i'm like okay well it's going to a good cause and i'm okay and i'm thinking you just you just totally bent me over and took 80 bucks for a couple items yeah <laughs> yeah it's crazy um, um fireworks yeah but anyways um so uh but they're you know they're working out this well what can we do okay so he gets all cold and gets on out there I mean, again, there is some exposition, and again, you, you, I guess, you just maybe missed the story. We, we know that Dennis got a sliver in his finger. Yeah, I remember from the it was tire, from the tire, from yeah. the tire, yeah. and it has slowly started working his way up his hand, and now it, 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 it basically snapped his finger, and inside of the the cooler, or the the whatever, the freezer, it basically snaps his it arm, breaks his. Ew. Love this effect, though. Yeah, this is a great effect. Yeah. I wish we had more of these effects in this movie. That's mm-hmm. what I was wanting. Like I, I wanted more of it, yeah. you know. And so, um, the gnarly part, which I, I, I don't do well with when people are cutting each other or cutting someone yeah. else. I don't like it. And him taking that, that exact, well, what was that? That uh, the, it, the knife. Uh, what was the not it an was exacto a, it knife? It was uh, basically a box cutter. Box cutter. Thank you, yeah. dude. God damn, I can't think today. Um, takes the box cutter. Cuts around the arm, which is just gnarly, and then he can't get through the bone. Through so the he's got to get that cinder block, oh. and like, and it was smart though. Sure, and snap it, and yeah, it's not completely unrealistic. But well, totally, fine, totally but. unrealistic. But uh, but anyways, they you know they figure and I this. Think this is the reason I don't mean to interrupt you, but this no, is the reason okay. why I missed I missed a crucial part of that character's backstory because I was too busy marbling around in my brain what i just watched of this guy getting his arm cut off yeah and then cinder blocked off <laughs> and then the next thing i know they they put some pseudo tourniquet on his arm and he's just sitting there smoking a cigarette like mm-hmm. drinking drinking drink, like yeah. it's nothing and i'm <laughs> i know i, I hyper focused on that and i and i completely and didn't hear the story didn't even hear the story yeah i mean you know you, you the the guy is an a-hole for the first part and you're like okay and then you get this story and you kind of feel like damn you know he's gonna be doing some good here he's gonna at least you know look he he was he was a, definitely a, a convict and he did a bad thing and he shot someone all these other yeah. things and he and he paid he did his time and he was gonna go make right and so and it's you know yep um but anyways uh looks yeah it's a bummer that i, I did, didn't hear that whole part. I did, dude, <laughs> dude, because what I just, the hell were you doing at the dude, time? Were you I on was, your phone? <laughs> no, I was sitting there. I'm not even joking. So, I'm not exaggerating. So, so the whole arm thing got in your head and it just stuck I, and you dude, blocked it's it. It's just the way my brain works, man. Like I sat there, I noodled <laughs> on that premise, obviously for the entire Couple time minutes. he was yeah. monologuing about his backstory. Yeah. I, in my mind was going what in the hell, man? There's no way this guy is going to be just talking. You know, I don't, I didn't even get a chance to focus on a story. <clears throat> you know, what would have been better for me mm-hmm. is if, you know, they made, they made that situation believable by having him on the ground, you know, writhing in pain, dealing with all that bleeding out there. Cause there, there didn't seem to be a lot of blood. And then, then he's, I don't know, maybe it's that he's, he's throwing up his final, not confession, but his final, because he knows his curtains for him. And mm-hmm. then maybe, maybe then he dies there huh. telling his backstory. Yeah. yeah that would have been, you know what little, I'm saying? Yeah. Then it forces me to, to, to listen to what the, and, and it's believable at the same time. Hmm. Dude just got his, went through a trauma. Yeah. Of his arm being literally cut off by a box cutter and <laughs> cinder blocked. Yeah. Okay. Now he's sitting there writhing in pain, bleeding out, sweating profusely, everything you'd expect a scene like that to be. And he explains his thing. Now it forces me to have to 
<laughs> in a believable way and I'm not stuck in my brain yeah. going like, this scene is stupid. And like, how in the hell is that guy going to even be coherent to yeah. have a conversation? Anyway, totally. I, I, I do agree with you. I, that, they, that could have been a route they could have went. They should have. They should, probably that. should have. But they needed his, they needed his other stuff with him. Some, I think that the PhD guy could have MacGyvered his way through the <laughs> remainder of the film. Yeah. I think, I don't think they needed convict dude at the end. Yeah. To, yeah. I think you're right. I think they could have. He could have MacGyvered out of there. You know, paperclip, uh, rubber right? band, um, yeah. thermometer. Yes. Uh, uh-huh. <laughs> totally. <laughs> totally. Um, anyways, <laughs> uh, I don't even know what the hell we're at oh, now. Man. Uh, um, well, okay. So, uh, let's see. We know. So s- he's a good. So it turns out yeah. he's a good guy. He turns is, out he's, yeah. I mean, he is, he did do his bad things, but I mean, he is. He is a good guy. He's, he's a good trying, guy. He's trying to make it right. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so Seth goes to the car. That shit doesn't work. Um, I th- uh, the this parasite thing gets inside of the gas station. Um, in the meantime, I think one of the fireworks had hit some of the gasoline or something on the in the back door and started to catch the. Yeah, that's right. Catch yep. on fire. Yep. So they're dealing with the fire. It remember they had squirted. Like what their was initial that? Uh, plan was to squirt all the lighter fluid lighter or whatever fluid, that's what to like start a fire yeah and the seth dude was like in his phd brain was like what the hell are you guys doing that's not gonna it's not gonna work <laughs> we're, gonna, we're, we're literally gonna locked the, in here yeah, yeah 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 and so so that starts to catch on fire this parasite gets inside of the gets inside of the gas station seth grabs the shotgun from the police car yeah and figures out finally how to use the thing <laughs> Right. He gives it to one armed Dennis. Right. Who's like cocking it he's like cocking one arm, him. like one of like he's those, taking like a, a shell out with his mouth. He's popping it. In. Yeah. Like <laughs> I don't know. You know, it's hey, whatever. At least it was his good arm. It was his good arm. Right. It, it was, wasn't I think nub. it was his left arm. It, that it they wasn't could. like he was nubbing the shell into right. the shotgun. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't oh, even know if that's yeah. even possible. Can you nub something into it? I don't think so. It's um, know, maybe. <laughs> but they end up outside. A little flap of skin. Oh, and they just sort of dude. wrap the shell oh. around the. You know, he's the, got like a little bit of the bone sticking out, and he's yeah. like pushing. He's pushing it into the shell into with the with yeah. the with the. Oh, that's yes. wrong. That's, right. that's wrong. Um, yeah, let me grab my bone spur. Oh my god! Oh, like it push that, dude. Uh, that just sounds painful and just wrong. <laughs> oh man. Um. So they're all outside, right? Um, I think he shoots up the part of the the gas station. I think the parasite is still kind of in there. I don't. Yeah, doesn't isn't there like a isn't there propane outside? There is. He does shoot that, but I know there was something else that happened with the with the parasite. But I think the bottom line here is the the parasite can burn right yeah. cuz oh, they yeah. they threw that ugly hand practical effect thing into the into the the fire hey it burns so yep. we can burn it yep so then he he's like look you you guys go this is his hero moment yeah. right yeah. <laughs> where he shoots yes. the propane blows up the gas station the idea is the parasite burns up while Polly and Seth walk down the road, <laughs> but he gives them the key. Remember, here's the key to the lockbox. Make sure the the wife, that widow, gets the money. Yeah. See, okay. <laughs> okay, this is so funny because I do remember that. And I and I it was toward the end, obviously. Yeah. <clears throat> I think I uh because I didn't uh I didn't absorb <laughs> the guy's oh, the backstory story. the actual like, what story the hell is this key? yeah i i just was like okay whatever <laughs> <laughs> so the yeah so you didn't understand the relevance of the no key. i had no idea i was just like okay well, I, now I'm, you all, know. <laughs> I'm all i don't know maybe the maybe the key is to like the dude's uh like RV all the, that he hit up the road about two miles or something like some money he's been stashing well, it is like, the money he's been stashing but but for good now, what yeah. was funny is I looked and I didn't know this. I didn't catch this when they were showing the key. I looked it up. It was funny. The address and I don't there must be some relevance to this. 
but the address on the key is to, is the address to Wrigley Field in Illinois. You know, the home of the Chicago Cubs. Yeah. What is this? I don't. There must have been some. Maybe the director was from Chicago. I don't know. Hmm. But but yeah, I Very thought that was kind of funny. I don't. I, you know, it's just one of those things they slide in because they can. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, Seth and Polly are walking down the road like everything's cool. And next year we're going to go to Hawaii instead of camping. I don't know. <laughs> That's right. And then, of course, it's that it's that typical trope ending, right? Yeah. Where they go out into the forest and there's some dead animal with the, the, the sliver oh, or the splinter. The splinter. Meanwhile... Yeah, the, the forest cam. <laughs> meanwhile, <laughs> makes its way th- through some trees, and then the, yeah, there's like a there's like a dead animal with a splinter, splinter and, in it. Yeah, and the splinter's so, uh, like all it's all it's all yeah, it's all twitching. Yeah, and, yeah, that's splinter. It's splinter. Like I said, it's not a it's not like it's a it's not a bad movie. I agree with you 100. percent It's kind of forgettable. Hell, I just watched this morning and forgot some stuff. Um, yeah. But it's enter- it's entertain. If you've never seen it, it, it is entertaining. You're not going to hate the movie. Yeah, you're you're not. But again, it's not. Oh man, that splinter blew me away, dude. You know, like well, hey. So the awesome thing for me is that because my brain works the way it, it works, and I was just caught up in that moment of like, this is so ridiculous that I didn't catch the backstory. At least doing the podcast, you yeah. got to fill in the gaps for me. You're so now welcome. I, I totally understand what was going on with yeah. that guy. Like, You're, yes. Yeah. I'm glad I could help. I, what I thought <laughs> was that he was just dick through 70% of the movie. <laughs> and then when he had that, that fuck, I got my arm fucking mm. cinder blocked off and cut <laughs> off. Now that's my turning point. Now I'll do a little bit of good. I'll do a little good. I, I know I'm a goner anyways. Uh, I'm going to bleed out. So. I got to redeem myself yeah, here. But now at least there's a little bit of dick. Yeah. So now he's not so much of a dick. So maybe he's 50% dick. 50% 40% dick. dick. I don't know. Uh, no, he's still 50 He's still 50. Dick. Okay. Yeah. So he's still 50. I mean, you know, look, he did. Uh, he was trying to look out for his girlfriend. He was. I mean? He was. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't understand her at all at first. I mean, I figured it's some, some kind of drugs or something. Yeah. She was a, she was a, they a, didn't flesh yeah, her out. They, they didn't, all, they really didn't say what she, she, she hadn't been using in a couple of days. So she was going through withdrawals, but when she went to the bathroom and, and she had her tampon, yeah. like case, yeah. it had drugs in it uh, so that she was going to get high. Yeah. 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 But whatever. I mean, that's, that's splinter. It's, it's a, I don't know. Like if I, I typically don't like put a number on something, but this is a, it's like a five out of 10 for me. This is like a, it's, it's, you know, that's what this is for me. This isn't a four. Cause then that starts getting really bad. This is a five. Maybe if I was pushing it five and a half, you know? Yeah. I, I don't know if I go so far as say five, I'd say 4.5. 4. 4.5. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it, but it's not terrible and you had seen it and that's why I recommend it. I find it to be. If five is average, I find it to be just a tad below average. It's just yeah. average for me. This is a boom run of the. This is a run of the mill movie for me. I, in my head, when I saw this many many years ago, I had built it up to be a lot better than it was. Yeah, and that's why I like to do this because then we can go back see, and see. To me, uh, okay, again, I mean, it's like it's just it's sort of. Uh, so you have five, right? Being average. But to me, it's like it, it sludges along in there. It's like, so like four to six to me is, is sort of that average realm. Sounds about right. You yeah. know, four being kind of on the lower average, six being on the upper average, yes. five being just right in the, there in the yep. middle. Like to me, Howl was Okay. Solid average. Solid was, was probably a, was a five for you? leaning more into the five six. See how for me, like this to me was below that howl. See, like, I see I would disagree with you because I like how of course I love werewolf movies. And if you do them right, how to me was a six and a half, seven for me. Okay. So it was yeah. higher for you. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. No, I mean, I think the point I'm trying to make is that is that in my gauge of of a movie on yes. whether it's average or better than ever, whatever, Howl to me was just a to me it was like a solid movie. Five, six. Yeah. Like, yeah. That being solid movie. And this mm-hmm. to me was below that. So yeah. I have to put it and somewhere knowing, in like knowing a, you, yes, I that that's right on the money for yeah, you. I, yeah. I I would be surprised if it was not. Yeah. I, to me, that's what I got, you yeah. know? Yeah. yeah. 
So I was entertained enough. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, I didn't hate it. It, it could, we, you know, it could have been a far worse film. Yeah, for sure. There's it, plenty of ones I actually if, want you to watch, but I'm like, oh my God, you're going to. Yeah. No, see, I mean, <laughs> like if, if Shaylee were to come to me and she like, you know, dad, I don't want to watch this like splinter, you know, mm-hmm. I'd put it on. Yeah. I'd, I'd yeah. go through it again. I'd watch it again. Sure. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't do it on my own. Someone yeah, would yeah. have to prompt Ex- me. Exactly. To, to, you know, exactly. I would not seek watching that yeah, again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I agree. I, I, I understand. I, t- I totally, I know you very yeah. well. So I know that was going to be your thought process. It was like when I was watching, I'm like the hand thing. I knew I'm like, Ugh. I know he's going to say something about the hand thing. And, but then it was enough for me to go. I forgot about the hand thing. It looks really bad. It's stupid it was bad oh my god yeah did you see it i mean uh like coming with the whole like for, like not even uh not even uh absorbing the dude's backstory because i was too caught up in how <laughs> ridiculous him not like, no i thought you would out, like, i thought like, you would catch the backstory but i really had to pay attention to get the backstory okay. like yeah okay. yeah but no because i had seen it before i actually forgot about the backstory to be honest with you <laughs> <laughs> you know so yeah well, but, yeah. Uh, yeah but uh, that's splinter as a whole you know yeah. it's a average horror movie yeah you know yeah it's seen far worse seen far better oh yeah no, <laughs> so, no, no. I mean, yeah i'm looking right at you feast <laughs> hey man feast i still although i actually think i would actually you like feast more i think for the i think for the action entertainment nature like did, did that if we're just going to focus on what enter I guess maybe entertain me from an action mm-hmm. point of view like how much more how much more meat was there on the bone I yeah. would say feast delivered far more feast yeah than this I I just like, didn't have a ton of meat on the bones so, I yeah. like feast more I like feast and I know you don't and I understand <laughs> just I understand I understand the reasons why you don't yeah. like it yeah. Um, I like feast because I knew what to expect and I, and I don't expect, a. um, it's more campy for me. It's more fun yeah. for me yeah. so I can tolerate some of the stuff that you could not yeah. tolerate and well, that's okay. Yeah. And it, but so in terms of like, if I had to like the side by side comparison of those two movies, um, I would prefer the feast because again, it, the feast, feast. It, the, I, yeah. this isn't Thanksgiving, right? This, I, <laughs> I would same. prefer feast because it provided more action per you know chunk of time yeah i get you you understand saying. where i'm yeah, trying yeah, to get yeah, at? yeah they they they, cr- they crammed in more they, action stuff more i i know what more, you're saying yeah there's more happening on yep. screen per chunk of block of time on feast yeah even if i found the premise to be just completely ridiculous then splinter splinter didn't have a lot of content yeah. per chunk of yeah. time and so it I think I think what's happening here is the more we talk about feast because we talk about it a lot in every episode. I think you're going to get to a point that you're really going to like it because yeah, no. you're starting to like it <laughs> yeah, more. No, no, man, <laughs> I'm going to wear you down. Listen, oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> if it takes a shitty movie <laughs> to, 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 to make me to elevate feast, feast? then wow. Well, but but Splinter I mean, wasn't shit. No, I, I know, but you know where that's I'm what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick like a real terrible one, and then you're going to go. Damn, Feast was like a masterpiece. <laughs> what was that? What was that one early uh, podcast early on that I really d- disliked? Dead uh, Alive. Dead Alive. You didn't like Dead Alive. I did not like. Again, Dead Alive. I feel like I feel like I understand where you're coming from, but I think you missed the scope of what Peter Jackson was doing. Mm-hmm. And you know, he's not serious about it. It's over the top, but it's supposed to be over the top. And I think if you if you look at it like that, then you might appreciate it more. Maybe, maybe I can maybe try to revisit it. That was, after all, quite a while. That was a, a long time ago. ago. That was episode maybe three? three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe give it another chance and look at it through a different lens, and you might appreciate it more. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> that's Splinter, y'all. Splinter, <laughs> and then whatever else we decide to talk about. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, man, I don't think I don't. I look through my notes. I don't have anything else. Um, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks again for coming on out. Appreciate it. Like always. Um, And everyone, everyone take care. Have a good one. You listened all the way to the end. We appreciate that. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at ear for fear podcast, Twitter 
at Ear for Fear and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Ear for Fear Podcast. You can also check out our website, earforfear.com. There we list news and events. We're available on all the main platforms, so make sure you tell a friend. We hope you come back and get an earful.